So, Charlie, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> um, David, I... Uh, well, I bought this set of chairs because I couldn't help myself. Okay, well, you can't help yourself. Life yeah. easy. I can't help myself. All right, okay. Um, Let's come around so we get a better look at them. Yeah. So what have we got? Six chairs. They're late Victorian. Yeah. Beautifully made. Not my thing at all. Why, why aren't they? Of course, they're your thing. They're not. I they're want not. a set of 24. Okay. I want a set yeah, all right, six. okay. But the world is so dark, though, and I'm sorry if I sound like I'm lecturing. Come on, sit down. Let's have a sit down and I enjoy them. I don't want to lecture to, to your, your clients because they're all singing from the same hymn sheet. Okay. But Give I us really a lecture, worry. though. Go on, what, what do you worry about? Okay. We live in a world where the planet's been raped to pieces. Yeah. We all talk about saving the planet. Yeah. We shouldn't do this, shouldn't do that. And yet, you can go out and buy these chairs. Right. I'll tell you how much they cost in a moment. Solid English walnut. Yeah. I've just found a maker's label. Okay. Beautifully carved. I mean, you're asking someone to make this today. Yeah. All this carving. Ah, uh, well, oh. actually, let me ask you. No, 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 no. How much? Hold on. Let me okay, go on. Look how these are made, David. Uh, oh, Look, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Okay, they need upholstering, so what? Yeah. They are just superbly made. The way they are put together. So. I know what you're going to ask me. What would they cost to put together? The, uh, Charlie, of all people I know, you know. I do know. Because you are involved with restoration. You're okay. also involved with making for clients. Yeah. So here's a good one. Don't tell us how much you paid for them. Not yet. Okay. Talk me through how much okay. it would cost so, for me to have these made. So you go to my chair maker, who's a national living treasure. Yeah. So it's not going to be cheap. But okay. you're going to get the best. Fair enough. Yeah. You've got to buy the English walnut. Yeah. End grain, cross grain, all the other grains. You then got to make the frame. Yeah. And you have to carve it. So you're looking just to make a fr one frame. One, one chair. One chair carved. Right. Unpolished, unupholstered. £1,500 probably. For one chair. Plus VAT. Okay, 1800 quid. 1800. Fine. Then you've got to have the polisher do it. Okay. One chair. Say, be kind. Okay. £300 a chair. Okay. And then you've got to have an upholsterer. Yeah. Not only have you got a seat, you've got a back and you have extra material and you've got to do it from the back as well. Yeah, okay. So, how much? £300. Pounds. 300 quid. Okay, so so we're looking at about £2,400 per chair yeah. so far. Times six. Times six, of course. So, <laughs> what's that? 12. Is it, we're heading to 15. What's that? Fi Plus the back. Okay. So, you look at 15 grand. 15,000 pounds to produce these chairs today to that quality. Yeah. Okay, so go back now to where we live in this environment where everyone's banging on about saving the world. A great thing to do. Yeah. But there's a lot of hypocrisy, Charlie, let's be honest, because a lot of these people are banging on about saving the world yeah. and not buying old chairs like no. this and saving the chairs, enjoying them and saving the world. And, and doing themselves a favour because they'll last a lifetime. The, you don't chuck them on the skip in five years because there's someone someone said, oh, let's, they're a bit out of fashion. These last a lifetime. They've lasted nearly 200 years now. Right. So, well, 150 years. And I find it difficult in my to reconcile the way people tell me that, you know, we've had a great time, sure. Yeah. It's jolly hard work as well. Yeah. And they don't buy this. They don't want it. And... It, it, it fills me with horror that they don't. It makes me really upset. But is it because they don't know that they can buy £15,000 worth of chairs for an amount that you're going to tell us in a moment? Yeah. Do they not know that they can do that, save the planet and save themselves some money? Or do they just, you know, brush that fact under the carpet because they want to go and buy something new made in the Far East? Yeah. I, I think that's a lot of it, David. I don't think... It it's, it's an educational thing. We were all brought up where we were taught to appreciate and enjoy and accept. My parents bought these things after the war because they didn't have any money. Right. But there's lots of people without any money. And I'm sure lots of people, to be fair, are buying this stuff. It's not just... We're not generalising. Of course no. they are. But there's an awful lot of people who shout about saving the environment, who go straight to out-of-town supermarket superstores yeah. and buy furniture that was made 12,000 miles yeah, away. And Happily. And timber and totally, the rest of it. totally, yeah. Um, and what are the, the, I want to say air miles, there aren't air miles, yeah. what are the sea miles on this? But well, the carbon right. footprint is enormous. It's shocking. Yeah, and then you've got the lorries to do, and 
Well, well, so we know all of that. Yeah. Why are they not buying them when they can buy chairs like this today for how much, Charlie? 450 quid for the six. And it'll last them forever. And the next door neighbours are not going to have the same chairs. So they're going to be unique in their furnishings. Yep. They're saving money and they're saving the planet, Charlie. Yeah, and all their mates will come round for a, a, a beer and a pizza and say, God, this stuff's really cool. And I hear it time and time again. It is cool. This stuff is cool. This stuff is cool, but not enough people know about no, it. So if we can do a little bit towards the end of my career, which hasn't got much longer to go, <laughs> I've done a good job. Good for you. No, I mean it. I'm passionate about it.